Hey guys, welcome to a brand new exciting video tutorial here at PCProductions.com. Today we're having a really special tutorial. Actually, this is one of the most heavily requested tutorials on PC Productions like ever. You know, uh, a lot of you guys really want to see some gunfire effects. So, I thought last night when I was filming this, this awesome footage here in the woods, and playing a uh, psychopath so I would film something for you guys so that's what I did hope you guys like it and if you want to see um, like um, a tutorial dedicated to do uh, automatic muscle fires for like AK-47s and stuff really hit that like button below this video so that will keep me motivated and really make me like do these tutorials um, so as I was saying, I am focusing on this tutorial to on the handguns, like the principle of how you make these um, muzzle flares. So there's a lot of ways to create muzzle flares inside of After Effects or to your production. Like you could use like plain images you can find online, or like ready keyed out footage. Uh, and ready to do all assets, you could just compose it really easily. Something like the video copilot's accent essentials. So, but the difference in this tutorial is that we're gonna create all this you're seeing inside After Effects with inbuilt plugins and stuffs, all from the flares. So no images and nothing like that. We're gonna make this really cool. Um, all except for the fact that we are um, here. Um, here where it goes the smoke, the smoke part, so that's not what we are creating, it's a free smoke stock element that I will provide you guys in a link down below. So click that link if you want to go ahead and get this smoke for yourself. So it's totally free and it's awesome. Okay guys, so let's jump in right to the tutorial. Let's make this effect really cool okay ready set go so here you are in your project panel we should bring out our footage if you don't know how to do it you can click command or control I on your keyboard and try to locate it with this or then you can just drag and drop files which I think is a lot more easier but if you got a lot of files over your computer and if you're disorganized you should probably use control I okay <laughs> so when you locate your footage, drag it down to the new cam button right there, our favorite button in the whole software. So now it opens up that footage with the exact same proportions and resolutions and frame rates. So it creates a composition for us matched for this footage. So now because I it's a bit longer clip, so let's trim it down just a bit, like. Uh, somewhere around like I'm coming here so I can hit the B key on your keyboard like a banana and It will trim it down the comp right there and then let's take our two shots one two and then pull it down so I could hit here with the N key on your keyboard So trim the comp down right there and then we can right click on this banner here and take trim comp to work area and we are a lot more organized, we don't have to zoom in and play with that kind of stuff all the time. Because we're smart people. We do smart stuff. Okay. Really cool. Okay, this... Yeah. Let's start with the kicks. You know, I'm dragging and loading the weapon. And here you can see my kicks. And they're just done with hand. So they... I want to make them a bit more intense. So if we go here on the first kick, right there... Let's stop there and hit Control Shift D or Command Shift D on your Mac as I am and split the layer. Go one frame forward or like this. Like one frame forward, that's pretty good. So, how you get one frames like this with a keyboard shortcut if you're using a laptop, uh, like a Mac laptop as I am using Command and the arrow keys are doing just that. If you're on a PC, the page up and page down key and you get one frame at a time. So yeah, so one frame and then Command Shift D once more and okay, that's what we got. Let's leave it there. 
and then we go to the second shot kick right there. Can match up D or can Joseph D one frame like this? No, this and like this. All right, so now these small frames here, let's just delete them just simply right there and let's line these up no not like that let's select just the top layer like this awesome now we're getting somewhere and let's trim it down yeah cool so now we can see our kicks are a bit more intense like they got a bit more kick there just like that okay awesome now we can start really good with this uh, let's trim it down just a bit for the demonstration purposes. We don't have to like scrub through that much, all right? Like this, um, like that. Okay, intense, more cool. Everyone's so much happier. All right. So now let's create the flares. And flares are really easily created because hashtag yellow. <laughs> no, we're using the fractal noise plugin inside Build After Effects and. Before we do that, let's just compose these these layers so we don't have to deal with three layers here. So like Command Shift C or Control Shift C if you're on PC and type in just main footage, just like that. Really, really awesome. Really easy. Really cool. So now let's create a solid. So I use the really nice key shortcut, the Command Y or Control Y, just to control to make like. A solid so let's call this flare one and let's make it black it really doesn't matter but I like black <laughs> non racist and then let's go for effects and presets and type in fractal noise and let's drop it on this solid and we can see a lot of stuff here going on and you might be wondering how do was does we do this to a muzzle flare I know it's pretty cool. Okay, so go here up for the fractal noise panel and take the contrast to 1000, the brightness to minus 60, and the complexity to somewhere at 13 makes it a bit more detailed. So every these white like boxes here or shapes, there's fractal shapes. We're gonna use one of them as a muzzle flare. Now we're just trying to find a really good muzzle flare, like resembling um, the muzzle flare like shape. So here is a pretty good one. I think this this could work really good. So let's take this one and let's go down here to transform and find scale. And let's scale him. Scale it up right this. Really good. Try to keep this in sight. Then we can go this offset turbulence. And like move it a bit like this. Let's scale it up a bit more. And we can use this little ball here to offset it so we can have it a bit in the centered. Okay, then when you have found your favorite uh, muzzle flare fractal shape, it's time to use the G key or the masking tool in After Effects. So you can hit G key on your keyboard or just hit the this little icon the pen tool here up in the toolbar and then let's just make a real simple mask around this um, this shape all right and let's uh, hit the B key and we can when we hit this we can see the masking we don't need to see it, so we can hit this little button here that will make it so we don't have to see those um, those cool lines there from the masking properties so now let's change the anchor point to something uh, like to the base of the flare so when we place it on the gun we can like move it a bit more easier i show you in a minute so hit y on your keyboard or go up here to the pad behind tool anchor point tool and then let's grab the anchor point and let's just pull it somewhere like in the base of the flare just like that and then we can hit, change the cursor so by hitting B on your keyboard to change the cursor and then let's change the mode to screen and if you don't know how to do that go from mode here and if you don't see it hit the toggle switch button down below here you are not seeing it because you probably are seeing just like this and you get toggle switch them like this but if you hit this button right there you can expand some more properties 
the last one you don't really need is like having more like duration details but if you keep these two highlighted you can see like the modes and parents and everything you basically need all right so now when it's screened let's just position it right there it's really good and you see why we place the uh, the anchor point there and trying to match it to the gun because if we hit the rotation it will rotate at around that point it will always move the orientations and transform methods around the anchor point so if we wanna if we place it like this we can always fix it like okay now it's like shooting in the right direction so now let's turn it off for a second and find our shooting it's there so here's our shot so let's take our gun and put it right there and let's make it two frames long so grab the one end hold shift so it brings up to your cursor and snaps on place take two frames forward and does the same thing from the end so now we're having a two frame long flare and you can see it's holding still while the gun is moving so let's make a real simple position animation here so hit P on your keyboard and go to position and one key forward and like one frame and let's position it just there so it looks something like it's moving with it okay cool and now let's make this look a bit more like a flare so go to down to your effects and presets here right there and type in CC radial blur radial fast blur like this one and put on the flare and it will do some pretty interesting stuff here so here the little ball on the comp so let's just pull it down to the base so we'll create this kind of a glowing flow blur outside from the the point the center point where you put it you can put it like anywhere and then go from the amount here in the radial fast blur uh, effects properties and just turn it up just a bit like giving some more like hazing glow there some around 70 should be just just fine all right so now we got when we got that one we can do something a bit cooler here we can just extend it maybe a, just a bit maybe a bit smaller a real just fine-tuning these and then because this got already a mask so go ahead and take your rectangle tool and draw another mask like this and it looks pretty weird right now but then go from the mask too and go from add to subtract so that will subtract it from the normal flare so now it's smaller but then go to feather and feather it out so it got like just a small like it's fading out somewhat yeah you could say that take like this and move this a bit around like this so we're getting well you can fine tune with this let's just create a real simple flare there it's just so it's fading out the flare a bit so it looks cool and now let's make it a bit more like uh, let's colorize it so go to your effects and presets and type in CC toner effects from the color correction and just put it right there and it will create some interesting stuff here and this is a really good plugin for color correction like you can uh, use what kind of colors the highlights the mids and the shadows are using so let's not mess with the shadow let's go for highlights it should search like this a warm orange kind of thing and let's just put a bit like just like small hue there so again like a bit more yellow there and let's go for mid tones and find a really a blazing hot like you know this kind of color you can really fine tune diff um, the 60 toners that's why really good because depending on what kind of environment you are in if you're a really bright or a darker like I am you can like fine tune it as you wish and sees the best so I think this is really really cool right there it's really fine you can do it whatever you want with it okay so now when we get the CC toner there let's go for the effects and presets take one more effect called the um, um, wait I get a total blackout now glow yeah let's find glow there and let's put a glow here so that looks pretty terrible but it's okay um, so let's just take the glow th threshold 
bit down so we're getting this nice glow there in the highlights and like the radius we can play with it just a bit like this okay so we're having just a bit of glow there g giving a bit more like life to them um, uh, to the flare itself so it's it's not much but it still sells the effect a bit better so now when we got the flare here let's like and uh, let's make it like fade off because now it's just the same flare and that doesn't look that convincing right so now what we do we go back to fractal noise and find the evolution uh, properties right there and hit that um, the stopwatch go one frame forward and then let's mix on the stop like in this evolution trying to get a flare because now it's evolving on the fractal shape so let's find like a flare when it's like fading off a bit like this it's fading off really nicely right there and so we got like flare and deflare and it's kind of more natural than just taking the opacity down or like you know what can you do so now it's this part is still a bit brighter one uh, just a bit down so go here for your flare layer hit T on your keyboard to pick up your opacity properties hit the stopwatch Q to 100% this flare that's when we're gonna see the visible one frame forward and when and let's just drop it like somewhere around 50% is pretty good so now if we're taking a look it's it's pretty simple right there it looks it looks okay so but there's a lot of things we're gonna do here so now that it, the flare itself is created and it's pretty cool uh, the next thing we do is creating the lights bouncing off to a character here or our actor and uh, some of the environment so what we do is for these two frames let's cop uh, let's duplicate our main footage so let's like command D or control D on your keyboard and then let's use the same shift hold and drag trick so let's make these just like this okay awesome now let's change the blending mode from this one to add makes everything a pop out for the color and then go to your flare and take your CC toner and hit command C uh, or control C like copy it or you can just go file uh, like edit and copy and then go to your main footage and paste it with control V or command V or just hitting edit and paste alright so now it looks like a color grade but that's not the point we want this the same kind of tone the flame had we want to uh, bounce off to our actor so now selecting the, the the highlights here we can go ahead and change the name to uh, highlights and take your G masking tool and let's zoom in on our character with this uh, the scroll wheel or just use manual here and let's take Let's start masking like a bit on our shoulder here and some of my a bit of my hands just like this really cool then go a bit of my face I want to bounce on like some of this I want to bounce on the gun itself like this and a bit of my biceps here <laughs> on the other hand I'm just thinking logically how it would basically bounce off if it, I would like flash a flashlight from this position to my face and then let's make some something to my body here like this so okay watching this it's not that pretty I admit it's not that pretty and um, this is not what one we get a feathery route a bit here so hit F on your keyboard to make your mask feather properties let's go for mask one and feather it out zoom in so we can see what we're feathering feather it smooth it out like like so it takes the shape of the hand like give it a bit more color and color and tone there let's go to my face next and let's see that is pretty good right there and the gun that could be really like bright there that's pretty good mask four my biceps 
thin out just a bit so it smooths out with my skin and then my body kind of like a really nice layer. So now we're seeing a pretty cool feather. Let's feather the weapon just a bit more. Alright, so now we're seeing a really cool like light source on me if we're just turning off on and off this sells the effect already a lot more so now when we got this we gotta make a bit on the bushes here too if you don't have bushes in your video that that's alright you don't need to have this but let's go ahead and create the ellipse take the ellipse tool and let's just create a circular shape we'll add another mask with the same properties and let's then we'll just feather it out feather it I really a lot like give it a lot of feather right there and we can see it's creating the light on uh, the bushes a bit a bit but on me for the most now let's animate this so take opacity at T on your keyboard and hit opacity stopwatch go one frame forward and take it 50% the light source the highlights and the next one it's out so it's a like a really nice transition having from the flare and the light so now we are two thirds done from the whole effect all right so now it's time with the smoke and that's a really easy part there and really remember to have the smoke with you because that sells the effect so much more it's really uh, giving the realism to that thing so let's just drag and drop it right here on the composition and you can see it's really long as it comes out so go from uh, you can go ahead and um, right click on the layer and go from time to time stretch so what time stretch do is that you can make a video clip longer or shorter um, like con uh, containing the stretch factor what percent percentage or then you can just type manually in how long you want it exactly to be but I know I want it to 15% length so I know it's like just 20 seconds okay it's not even 20 seconds so let's make it 15% long and then now let's just cut the first part we don't want that ball there and as I said in the beginning, this smoke is available for you guys for absolutely no charge. So check the link down below and you can find this and you can also find this footage I'm using here. So if you want to do the exact same thing I was, that you're training really good and don't do anything I'm not doing, I will be providing my own footage here for you guys if you want it down below. So go check it out, we'll bring you to the download link. All right, let's get back to this. Uh, let's change the mode to screen so we can eliminate all the blacks. And then let's position it. We can hit the W key so we can rotate it how we want. One like this. Hit S on your keyboard to scale it down. Just like matching it, it's really not the bigger deal how you want to do it. Okay, this is like that. And now if we hit play, and let's make it yeah it's pretty cool right there okay so it doesn't look that pretty you know it's fading off it's really fast now yeah uh, but it's like making a this blump here in the end that it doesn't just look pretty so what what can we do well there's a few things we're able to do I really usually do this like hit the T key on your keyboard and let's bring it down to like 60% hit the opacity stopwatch and then like bring it somewhere around here there and we can just take it down like take it so it smoothly goes like this so we just got like a real fast smoke puff and if you want more color and more popping out you can change this up to add so we got a bit more like a brighter smoke I don't need this so I could go just with the screen one it's okay so that's basically how this effect is pulled off it's pretty cool and yeah okay so it looks really fun here so if you uh, then the next step is to do the exact same thing onto the next shot but I don't want to make this video looks forever so we'll just skip it because I'll now teach you guys how to make this muscle flare and then we can finish this off by doing like um, if you want to do a color grade do it but 
um, I just want to make you remi uh, remember this if you're shooting in low light and you get a camera that can cause um, a bit of like uh, noise in the dark areas and if you're doing a grade it will just get those noise even more visible so just be real careful with that and so yeah this is how you create a muzzle flare inside After Effects so that was it thank you for watching it was really cool see you guys in the next one Hey guys, we have reached the end of this project, hope you all liked it, remember to share your thoughts in the comment section down below, also please let me know what my next project should be in the comment section. Give this video a like if you liked it and a dislike if you disliked it. Don't forget to hit the awesome subscribe button on the screen right now, then you are a part of the rising VFX family and you are supplied with the coolest Adobe tutorials on the interwebs. <laughs> That's all for this time, see you in the next one, stay awesome!